What is going on guys, my name is Joe, we're Clockwork Ninja, and today I'm bringing you some sort of cinch controller review, almost, kind of. I'm going to show you what it is. Now, if you haven't heard of cinch gaming, uh, they are a company that that sells, you know, professional esports controllers for the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, the PS3, and the PS4. With, uh, you know, you have a lot of customizable options and and whatnot. And I did make a video before uh, when I received my 360 Cinch controller. And how I would... N <laughs> uh, once I started using it, I could not go back to A, a stock controller, and B, um, you know, a scuff controller. Because I did own a 360 scuff controller prior to ordering a cinch and so if you don't know what it is or what makes it different there's not much to it except for one major thing now other controllers have paddles and you know you can press down in the back of the controller cinch controllers have buttons on the back side of the handles I'm going to be showing images of, of the the controller that I got because I recently got it today actually and it's the the limited edition advanced warfare controller which you could order and uh, you know cinch it up and stuff so you know mainly it has back buttons on the back I only like having my controllers with two buttons for you know A and B but you can get it up to four so you can have you know A, B and the top buttons X and Y and they're at the handle which actually you know for for scuff controllers they have paddles that you're supposed to press up and into the controller from the back and so you cause your your hand or your wrist to to twist you know to do that pushing motion and uh, for singe controllers which have the button on the on the back side of the handle that's where your fingers rest, your index finger and your, your middle finger. I like using uh, my index finger for doing, you know, the jump shots and the, the knifing. But I'll, I will occasionally use it on my, you know, my middle finger. But uh, now for a game like Advanced Warfare, this is a complete necessity. I know there are people there that say, no, you don't need... You know a scuff or a cinch controller, you don't need a, contro a special controller to help you play the game. And if you do, you just, you're just bad. Uh, no, actually. <laughs> I had my cinch for my 360. And that's where I would play, you know, Black Ops 2 and Ghosts. And I got Advanced Warfare for the Xbox One. Now, I didn't use my Xbox One at all. Not at all, but... I, I never used it for Call of Duty or any games like that. I had FIFA and, you know, Madden. But for, like, any FPS shooter, um, you know, I didn't have a controller. So I would never play Call of Duty on, on Xbox One. And the controller's a little bit different on Xbox One, but that's kind of a different story. But Advanced Warfare released, what, on Monday? Today, Saturday. This whole week, I've been struggling to... <laughs> To keep up, my KD is about you know 1.4 or something, and uh, I would I, I I I struggled playing the game because you know I was so used to my controller and having the buttons on the back that I just couldn't I couldn't use it. I couldn't use a stock controller uh, because it just felt unnatural. And not to mention that my controller, my stock Xbox con One controller, does this thing where. Where if you look right, or no wait, if you look left with the aim stick, and you hold it all, you tilt it all the way left, it'll spin around faster than it does tilting it right. And I have a bit of a dead zone when I slightly tilt it right, which is, which is kind of weird. I think something's wrong with my controller. I did drop it once before, so I'm guessing that has something to do with it. I, I've been struggling this entire week, and so no. I got my cinch controller today, and you'll see pictures up like in a corner or something. Um, the first game that I hopped into 
it wasn't the greatest game by, you know, it wasn't like a 60 bomb or anything like that. I hopped into domination and I got a three point KD with six captures. Now, again, that's not amazing, but compared to how I was doing with a stock regular controller, uh, that's huge. <laughs> that's huge because I, as you know, my KD is like, excuse me, my KD is about 1.4. And so not only did I not have buttons on the back, my joystick was a bit messed up and, and I just struggled. So, you know, guys, if you are looking for a, you know, a competitive controller or just a controller to, <laughs> to be able to keep up online, you're, you are going to need one of these controllers. And I suggest you, you know, you, 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 you grab yourself a cinch. Now I do work with uh, cinch gaming. I do, I am sponsored by them. So if you would like to buy a, uh, a cinch controller, I have a coupon code for you guys. That'll save you 5%. Uh, you can use code CLOCKWORK. I'll have a link down in the description. You know, you can just buy anything you want. You'll save 5%. You'll support me by doing that. I'm not begging you to buy a controller. I'm not telling you to buy a controller. Uh, I wouldn't work with a company that I didn't use their products or I did not believe in them. And, and with Cinch Gaming, Cinch Gaming, I do. So, you know, buy yourself a controller and, <laughs> I mean, you, you, you are going to need it. So, again, coupon code CLOCKWORK at checkout. You'll save 5%. Uh, there's tons of, you know, combinations that you, can do, that you can do. You know, buttons and joysticks and D-pads and all that stuff. You can even get the advanced warfare controller like I got and, you know, cinch that up with trigger stops and back buttons and all that stuff. Or you can get, I think, what's the other new controller? Armed Forces, which is like camo. You can get that too. Or you can just get a stock black controller and add some trigger stops, some back buttons, maybe four if you're into that. And, uh, you know, get going because this game is, <laughs> I am proof that this game is is hard without a cinch controller so you know consider that if you're looking to to buy a controller uh, I suggest you go with cinch so that's that thank you guys so much for watching uh, I do appreciate all of your guys support you guys have no idea how much this means to me I love doing this making videos and commentaries for you guys and you know if I can help you in any way and entertain you in any way, then, you know, I feel like it's my moral obligation to do so. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later.